In this video, I'm going to show you how to assign different work schedules to different resources. What you'll do to do this is go to your add-ons and then you'll see next you'll see go to work schedules in the add-ons. If you don't have work schedules installed, then install it. And then you'll hit the configure button and you'll you can create new work schedules by entering a new work schedule in here. I already have one part-time, but you can say um, uh, new schedule like this, and it'll add a new schedule. And then you can just click on it to edit it. And in the new schedule, by default, you're going to want to inherit probably from the default workspace. If you do that, then it, all the holidays will from the main work schedule will, will come in. Otherwise, and you'll hit recalculate if you do that. So normally you're going to want to inherit. And now you can see like a holiday from the master calendar comes in. And then you can make your different changes here. You can go add different days off in this schedule. Um, or you can just change even like we're not going to work Mondays. So this is no Monday schedule. And once you've done this, now I have this new schedule that has a couple extra days off and Mondays are off. You could change the work days, what the times are, all of that. But if you want individuals to have different work schedules, you'll also need to then check this box. Each user can have a personal work schedule. Then you can go over to the admin, find a user, and I'll find just an active user here, Craig. I'm going to edit Craig. And I'm going to go to their resource info. And instead of inheriting from the workspace default, I'm going to give Craig the new schedule, which means that Mondays are off for him. And what's great about this is that when the Mondays are off, his capacity is now a little bit lower. And the any if you do certain calculation types um, in your tasks, like uh, you can actually have a project work schedule, a project can use the personal work schedule of a resource by going to the resources. And then you can say uh, in here, which schedule you'd like to use for that user. So back to Craig Young here, I want instead of using the project default, I'll say I want to use their personal default instead. And then what that does is any tasks assigned to Craig Young now will be scheduled around his personal work schedule. Um, when you're using personal work schedules, it's best to probably have one person per task. You can still have multiple people per task, but it works best if you just have one individual per task when using the personal work defaults. There's other videos on how to do um, work schedules and go ahead and check those out.